welcome. My name is Adele from Her Smile. I help women step into their confidence and their power using the tools fitness, beauty and styling. For more information, please go to hersmile.com.au. Now today I wanted to be talking about, as I told you, about hips, all right? Pains in the hips. And my passion is that it's because we have lost our mobility. So that's why we end up with the problems that we end up with because we don't have the mobility that we had when we were younger. And now everyone goes, oh, I could do that when I was young and I could do that when I was young. Well, that's because somebody was pushing you. But as we get older, we have no one telling us what to do anymore, like our mother, our grandmother, our teacher, our father, whoever it was that was dominant in your life. They're not longer there anymore telling you what to do. You decide what you're going to do. And I am sitting here today saying to you, please join me. We're going to have flexible clothing on, all right? And we can sit on the bed, we can sit on the floor, wherever you're comfortable. So some ladies are very frightened about sitting on the floor because they haven't been down there for so long. And that's fine, but I want to get you back down there because we need to be capable of getting on and off the floor smoothly and effortlessly, all right? and pain-free, and that's the plan. This is one of the first things I ask you to do is to sit on the bed. We start on the bed if you're not comfortable with sitting on the floor, but it's about getting the mobility back in your hips, all right? Because that's the reason why you are in pain is because you haven't got the mobility anymore to move. And that's what I want to talk about today. So on the floor, on the bed, whatever, no excuses, all right? Just take your hands. Now, I've got a thing about the thumb joint. You must really, really care for it. I don't like you to do that with your hands because it puts pressure on the thumb joint. And look, I'm only speaking from experience. And my experience has been over the years is that I haven't, no one told me to care for my um, thumb joints. And at one point, I really thought I was going to have to have an operation on them. They were so painful, all right? So with Everything I do, I always very carefully place my hands so that the thumb isn't at an, in getting any tension or pressure on it, all right, or any stress. So I always put my hands flat on the floor. So I want you to put your hands flat on the floor behind you. Why? Well, that's just to hold you up, all right? Now, ladies, don't sit all rounded, okay? Take your shoulders forward up, back, sit up tall. Lift your chest, okay? Now I want you to stretch your legs out in front of you. So we're in this position. Okay, I want you sitting tall with your legs straight. Now, all we're going to do is we're just going to bend and stretch them, first of all. Because you can see the movement taking place in the hip joint, all right? There's movement happening here. And you, I just want you to regain confidence in your ability to move, in your body, all right? We lose confidence every day when we stop using it. So you stop using it for 30 years, you're right down there when it comes to confidence and your ability to move. And you're always trying to protect the pain instead of addressing the pain. You need to go there and you need to deal with it. All right? It's not that big a deal if you deal with it when you're younger. When you leave it for 30 years, now we've got to con regain confidence in you and you're scared. Okay? Because you've got pain. So bend and stretch. All right? That's what I want you to do. I'm just going to face you. And then I want you to just roll your legs in and out. Again, you can feel it moving in the hip. All right, so that's movement number one. I'll just stand and sit at an angle. You can see me rotating. So the leg's rotating, okay? And when you bend and stretch the leg, again, the hip joint, which is a ball and socket joint, all right, it's doing this. And it's, excuse me, it stops doing that because you've stopped doing that, all right? So we need to move it. All right, okay, that's step number one. Do that 10 times like this, 10 times like this, morning and night. Okay. Once you feel as though you've got the hang of it and you're not so scared to move, all right, then ladies, we're going to start bring, bringing the legs in. So now we're going to start bending our knees until our toes touch the floor, okay? And then we're going to rotate. So then we're going to rotate them, bending our knees on the floor and just rotating the legs and making sure that you've got your hands close to your bottom, all right? Because that's going to hold your back up. So you want to be in this position as opposed to rounded, okay? Sit up tall. All right, now then you start to bring your feet closer and closer and closer and closer to your hips. So you want to be working with your feet closer and closer and closer to your hips. Now some of you are too embarrassed to do that. Just be on your own. Close the door. No one needs to see what you're doing, okay? And then you just need to 
rotate. I want you to push those knees and I want you to aim to get the knees on the floor. Okay, we're aiming to get the knees on the floor. Good. Okay, now we start getting a little bit more hectic and we bring them a bit closer. Now this is where I take off my socks because I'm going to slip and I don't want to slip. All right, and I want to get my legs right in. I want to get my feet close to my bottom, my hands close to my bottom and lift my sternum. So I want to get right up here, okay, sitting like this. Now what I want to do, get my feet wide. I'm always shouting at the ladies, why? Don't put your feet here. You're not going to get the same results. All right, get those feet open. Now we rotate and push. Now if you have a look, my leg is actually in a square position, my legs, all right? Now you don't move your feet, ladies. You keep your feet where they are and you rotate, okay? You keep your feet where they are and you rotate. And you don't allow yourself to lie back like this to do it, no. I want you sitting up tall. We're getting rotation in the hip, all right? I want you sitting up tall. Got it? All right. So that's the next stage and we'll just do 10 movements like this, 10 each side, morning and night. So you've progressed from this, okay? You've progressed to moving like this and for stretching, all right, and rolling. Now you've progressed to bring them closer, 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 closer. You're always working to get them closer and closer and closer. Get your elbows in, push them back and rotate. So the next step is to bring them up and push them as far back as they'll go. Push, push, push. Feel as though I'm sitting in front of you with my hands and I'm pushing them back. Get somebody you know to do that for you. And down, all right? So again, I'll show you the position that I'm in. You come up, you push those knees back, ladies. Open the hip joints and down, okay? Come up, push those knees back. Open the hip joints and down, good. And then we progress to one more that I want you to work on. Once you've got to this position, sitting tall, now I want you to feel as though I've nailed your knee to the floor. Your legs are square, can you see? 90 degree angles. Now you rotate and you push. Push that knee back and down. Rotate and push that knee back. Really get it back, ladies. Okay, you want to feel the rotation in the hip. Don't be frightened. You need, this joint needs to work. You need to do this so that you don't need to have a hip replacement. Okay? We need to get that joint moving. We need to get that synovial joint, the liquid in the synovial joint moving to protect the bones from rubbing against each other. Okay? And then we repeat the other side. Rotate five of them. Push them back and down. Get them back, ladies. Get them back, 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 back. I don't want this knee coming up. Keep it down. So that we're getting a deeper rotation. I don't want you lying down like this. I want your hands by your bottom. I want your back up. I want your knee back. And I want you to be rotating and moving these hips. Right. I hope that makes sense to you. <clears throat> because you want to be able to sit like this. You want to be able to have that mobility in the hips. It's very, very, very important. Okay. Now, if you like what you see, I'm going to leave you a link to a fantastic offer that we have coming up, and that is our Her Smile Spring in Your Step Challenge. And it's where most of our Her Smile fantastic, successful clients began their journey. Just like you, they were terrified to do anything. We convinced them into that program, and now they're walking the runway. They've lost up to 30 kilograms in weight. They've gone from limping and dragging their hip because it was so sore to riding bicycles and running on the treadmill. They've gained the most incredible confidence. They've learned how to do their makeup, how to dress correctly. They're being styled by local boutiques. It's fantastic, all right? And the place to start is the Her Smile Spring in Your Step 10-Day Challenge. So I will leave you a link for that if you are interested. Um, otherwise, just email, text me if you are interested, but I will leave a link for you to click. But otherwise, if you like what you've seen, please comment, please give us feedback. If you're on the YouTube channel, please will you subscribe to our channel. Please share with your friends, okay? But otherwise, until next time.